Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. In the last part, I cleared out Biff Atlas, the optional portrait ghost, as well as created a shortcut, and watered some plants. That was some exciting gameplay. <laughs> and now we're going up to the second floor. You'll see there's a door here with fire. I had water already in my possession from the last part, because I was watering all those plants, so this door is already going to basically open to me. Now, there is... Two mice in this room. Uh, yeah, two mice. That's a, a rarity in this game. The first one I'm gonna get is the cheese mouse, which is over here. So, search for that. And then quickly run over to here. Uh, scare away that ghost and then start sucking here! Woo! That's the first mouse in this room. And Ruby is definitely pretty nice to get as well. And suck up this stuff and- oh shoot I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I forgot uh, there, there's little panels on the floor here that uh, let go of me. I do not want to be raped. You are not a redead. Anyway, I don't want to clear this room just yet, but uh, that takes care of one of the owl, one of the cheese mice in here. I should say one of the mice in here, excuse me. Now there's a random mouse. When you enter this room, and ever so slightly off to the left, there is the random mouse trigger somewhere around here. So, that didn't work. So let's keep trying until we get... Here we go! Woohoo! There we go. <laughs> okay, I did not expect to get it that quickly, but there is the random mouse of the room, and that is pretty awesome, I have to say. Now... Now I can clear out this room after I check that mouse off my list. Yeah, I have a, uh, a little checklist here of stuff that I have to get. Or I should say stuff that I want to get or cover for this walkthrough. So if I ever take any, like, pauses, you'll know why. Just so I would say that. That's, that's a pretty handy thing to have, is to make a, a checklist of all the things that you want to cover during the walkthrough. Uh, unless you really have the game memorized. But anyway, now it's safe to clear out the room. And now there's a boo in this room. I must find the boo. Must get 100% completion. Well, as 100% as I possibly can. Don't grab onto the tablecloth, Luigi. There we go. Woo! It's Mr. Boo, Mr. Boo Jangles. And I don't wait. Don't you dare. Where'd he go? Oh, he left, didn't he? I don't know where he went though. Did he just leave out here, or did he go in this hallway? He might have went over to, um, oh yeah, I think he went into that left room there, which, oh, I can, I can go in this room, actually. Oh, but I actually can get the boo when I go into that room, uh, right away. Uh, but what I should do is go back to this room, of course, and get what's in that treasure chest. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave that boo to uh, let him hide himself again, because I'm not gonna have enough time to do so. Um... As you can see, there, it's still flashing yellow, but I know there's not another boo in here. But I actually should loot this place as long as I'm here, like I do the, all the other places. Um, like the chandelier up here. I'm pretty sure the chandelier contains something before. Uh, it's just a heart. Well, actually, I could use that, because I'm at 95. Um, I, I mean, it's going to disappear anyway, so why not? Woo! Ruby! Ruby Tuesday! And, ah, uh, screw it. I'll just open up the treasure chest first. Just touch this panel, jump on, or drop on this table, oh, yeah. open up this chest carefully, and you'll get the ice medal! And you'll also get, of course, a call from Professor uh, Egan here. And this means that I can pick up Ice Element Ghost, which will be needed for an optional... Wait, not an optional, excuse me, a required portrait ghost up on this floor's bathroom. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, Egad there was blabbering quite a bit, but then again, I tend to do that as well. Let me get the ice guy there to show you how it looks like. It's just like a, a freezy cloud thing. If you press the button in all the way, like before, you can shoot a ball of energy of that element forward. And that's about it. So let's just grab our ice guy and move on. So, now what I'm going to be doing is going down this hallway, and is the door, is the door, yes, that door is open. I might as well get that, the ghost that I can get with this ice element first, and that's in this room right here. 
Or, wait, maybe it's, <laughs> it's in the other room, excuse me. Um, you can try pulling off this poster from the wall, but it's one of those fake boo posters and you're gonna take damage from doing so. Oh, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> it's kinda... That, those posters are always pretty silly. Anyway, shake... Shake, a, shake the stuff around here, and... Oh, I didn't mean to grab that water. If you shake this toilet, you're gonna find a ghost in there, and... Oh, wait, actually, I did need that to clear this room. Excuse me, because it's a, um... A fire element ghost, and I need the water. So, you're gonna get doused, and... Doused and stunned. There we go, that's what I wanted to say. But it wouldn't work, and that's the only ghost in this room. So, open up this treasure chest, and you get a load of cash. Woohoo! And it's swirling into the poltergust like a tornado. Um, can I shake other things in this room? I know I can, but will they yield me or give me anything? I don't think so, okay. And that's about it for that. But I want to get that ice power back real quick here. Ow! Because, uh, I, I, actually I will shake these pots. <laughs> There's also, in this hallway, another random gold mouse. Um, I'll cover that later when I go down the hallway, I think. Because, because it'll be nicer to uh, clear out when I have when I have access to the upper floor rooms, the third floor rooms. So, yeah, I, I don't, I'll just take on everything as they come, basically. And don't bowl, don't knock me over like a bowling pin, dang it. So I want to go back in this room and get myself an ice element ghost from that bucket full of ice that's being used to cool some beer of sorts. Okay, it's not being used for that. That's, that's probably like a champagne cooling bucket or, or something like that. So anyway, now that that's taken care of, I can now go into the other washroom bathroom thingy here. This, oh, these are new ghosts. These are bomb ghosts. Leave them alone. They will explode uh, if you try and suck them in. And, uh... Hey there, baby. How's it going? You know, I'm, I'm just gonna move this curtain just a little bit and get a better look at you. And, uh... OH MY GOD, IT'S ROSIE O'DONNELL! Ah! And she's in a bathing suit! Oh, God. Ah! This is Miss Petunia. Her weakness is to freeze her water like that, and she'll get all chilly, and then you uh, suck her in with the vacuum like that. She's got a very strong pull, because she's massive, and she'll knock you off pretty easily, as you can see there. Give me my pearls! Oh shoot, some are stuck behind the tub! Some are stuck behind the tub! I want the pearls! Dang it! Give me pearls of shininess! Can I get a... Oh, come on now! Can I, like, suck them? Can I, like, pull them up? Oh, I can! There we go, that works. Alright, freezy, freezy, sucky! Yay! I guess you, I guess if any pearls get stuck behind the tub, you just gotta move your aim upwards while you've got a hold on the pearl, and it'll, and it'll pull them right up. And I just seen a pearl go right inside the tub there, so let's pull that out like that. So, a couple of pearls, and that's it. So, that's Miss Petunia, and there is the key! <laughs> And this will open a door down the hall, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, that opens it on the first floor. I'm not going to be going back there just yet. Um, that might be the billiards room, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to be going into Nana's room over here. Wait, wait, wait. Did I forget to get the uh, any booze in these rooms? Because I didn't, I didn't see it flashing. I just want to make sure. Um, there's going to be two booze in Nana's room, because I missed that one boo uh, from the rec room. But that's okay. As I said before, you can always go back and get a boo if you want to. So this is Nana. She's a very, very spooky grandma here. And uh, there is a blue ghost in here. Ooh, are you excited? I sure am. All you have to do is go over to this chair here. And there's your ghost. Oh, oh no, no, no. Give me. Yeah! I, I almost thought that one got away from me. And I was going to scare it away accidentally with my uh, vacuum. Anyway, uh, clear out this room first, and when you're ready, um, ready to take her on, so to speak, shake this table with the yarn balls on it, and uh, th then it'll start the battle between you and Nana. Anyway, shake up this room to see what, what the heck this room has in terms of treasure. 
I don't think this room really has all that much. There's a sewing table there. This this thing might have something. This uh, chest. There we go. Well, I guess that was worth it. And is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. Um, let's shake this. No. Okay. So knock on this table here. The yarn balls will start. And Granny's coming for you. She's got eye lasers too. This is one of the silliest portrait ghosts ever in my opinion, because, hey, let me grab a yarn ball. By the way, the, if you don't grab these yarn balls, they will hit you. And, uh, let's, I want, I want the granny to shoot her eye lasers. Come on. Come on. Do, do your thing, granny. Because the eye lasers are hilarious. Come on. Come on. Do it. Okay, maybe I have to hurt her first. Or I should say, maybe I have to hit her first, so. So that works. And I, I think I have to hit her three times. There we go! <laughs> Granny's packing heat! Okay, so grab the last yarn ball and... Get... Okay, maybe the yarn balls don't hurt you, but they do stun you. Her eye lasers definitely hurt, though, I know that for sure. Where where the heck did the other yarn ball go? Come on, dang it. Where did Granny go? What the heck? Granny's disappeared. What what the poop? Did I, did I accidentally mess up on this room or something like that? Because I... Hmm. What if I shake this... Huh. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> this time with more success, hopefully. Yeah, Granny disappeared there. I guess you have to get her within a certain amount of time or something. Ow. I shouldn't say ow. I should say oof. Because it didn't hurt. Oh, okay, these yarn balls are really annoying. And they even drop out of, drop out of your vacuum if you uh, accidentally hit something. Or hit the yarn ball against something. Ah. There we go, that's two. Where is the third? I must get the third before it disappears again, along with Granny. And, uh... Oh, by the way, her name is Nana, if I didn't say that before. And now she's vulnerable, now that I hit her, hit her with the third yarn ball. And now she's pretty much completely defenseless. She's a pretty weak ghost and a pretty easy one to get, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, come on, I actually lost my hold on her. She's a grandma! Well, she does have her eye lasers. And she'll eventually come back, and you'll just be able to suck her right back in. And that takes care- <clears throat> Excuse me, that takes care of Nana's room. Now, as I said, there's two boos in here because I missed that one boo ac accidentally. Well, not accidentally, it got away from me. So that was no accident. So, that's the key that opens up a room. Uh, oh, that's the other room on the second floor in that separate area where we met uh, Chauncey and the like in the very first area of the game. Um, there's a boo. Whoa, there's a boo there. Woohoo! It's Lim Booger! The stinkiest cheese of all. It's it's a cheese so old it has turned into a ghost and it got away. Dang it. I would like to get I would like to take care of one boo at a time, so I'm going to Oh, it just went in that room. Dang it. And come on, baby, you're going down. Since all the rooms are now open in this area, I shouldn't have to worry about ever losing track of this boo. And there we go. Woo! Okay, there was no need for that chime in, on my part there. And, uh, what? You told me that before! I already watered the plants before, dang it. Okay, <laughs> let's just go back to Nana's room and get that second boo. Um, which, what, I think the boo was named Boo Regard from that other room in the rec room that I missed in the last part. Uh, but I could just couldn't get to it uh, in the last part, so I'm going to be getting to it in this one. Come on. Where is... here? There we go! Oh, it's Boo Jangle. Excuse me. Hey, wait, you're not allowed to go outside. You're not allowed to do that. Anyway, I got him. And that takes care of the boos in this room, and I finally caught up on them as well. Yes, I am loving your brilliant inventions, and they are brilliant. I mean, who else can build a vacuum cleaner that can suck in ghosts? Okay, maybe Ghostbusters. So, get... let me... there we go. I want that heart very badly, evidently. Because I was at 80 health. So, um, where... Wait, wait, where do I have to go next, anyway? I mean, I think there's a couple ways that I can go. Um, I could go to the, um, observatory, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll just get another one of Mario's items down this hall here. If you go... I don't want to get hit by the mice, though. If you go down this hall, um, 
you'll see this room over here, and I'm going to go in it. Oh, I need fire to light these torches, dang it. Um, so I guess I'll be picking another room for the, for the uh, next one that I'm picking. Um, so, but I, what I think I'm going to be doing is ending it here, uh, because I'm already at 15 minutes or so. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part where I figure out what I'm going to be doing. <laughs>